Action. Scene one. Used to be a diner. Then it became a laundromat. Then it became an abandoned building. I am going to approach this building and hope that at least a dozen Joe citizens don't complain. See, um, even if I can't go into this place, I could go into this one. Because I'm in a ghost town. Welcome to the ghost town of Liberty, New York. See, there's a lot of Liberty, New York. Well, it's not really Liberty. It's um, a suburb, a suburb adjacent to Libertyville. And there's a lot of these ghost towns. They're popping up everywhere. It's very depressing. I don't know what happened to this place, but it used to be a diner, obviously, from the 50s, 40s, maybe. Then it became a laundromat. And we also still have this. That's abandoned. That door right over there is wide open. And there's an abandoned structure up there that's in ruin. See it? I could go in there if I wanted. But I like diners and I want a tail of ham and cheese really bad with ketchup. Salt and pepper. No, no salt. Just pepper on the ketchup. Taylor ham is salty as anything. You don't need any more ketchup. Ah, uh, ketchup. Ah, uh, salt. Because the ketchup is salty enough. But, can I get in? Can I peer inside the window at the once former diner that was once a laundromat? Will there be anything left of the diner? I don't know. That door might open. Really cool diner. I'm starting to think it's from the Art Deco days. But, um, what happened? Oh, there it goes. Oh, well, anyway. Here's more of this uh, abandoned building right there. So let's just look at this one real quick. Alright. That's a window. what that is it's like fiberglass and this is a oh, whoa more fiberglass it's definitely an art deco and that's a coffee can muffler now this thing has a footprint on it so I'm guessing that this door was not going to open. No, it's not. That's why there's a footprint. Because they couldn't get it open. And they were so vain. Oh! I just walked into an orb web. Excuse me. I don't think they're big yet. Those orb weavers. Those spotted orb weavers. I just walked into one of their webs. I know they can get plump and juicy. But it takes a while. Here's a door. Another door. Yeah, this is a door. And we're left with this other door. And what will happen if I try to open it? That's the knob. Whose hand last touched that knob?
one open. Damn it. Ready to kick it in, but we can't do that. Can't film it anyway. Could turn the camera off and do it. Then turn the camera back on and say, oh look, this door opened. All right, maybe this one will open, but we could at least look in or get in through this this open window. These windows are open, and they reveal Art Deco diner architecture that should never have been converted into a laundromat. Why? Only to fail a laundromat. Mm. So, um, they got this freezer in the way because they think that's going to keep me from getting in. But, um, well, anyway, that's the, um, washing machine and it's got some age to it. So this place <clears throat> was, um, a diner since the Art Deco days and it seems it became a laundromat in the 50s or early 60s because these are really old these washing machines are really old what's this say? ground screw I don't know how old they are but um, I'd love to like hop through this window, but there's people like right there at that, there's people like all around, they would witness me doing it, and I, even though I'm in the sticks right now, um, I don't know, I think they still might report me, I don't know. In bad shape. Laundromat. Right there. Coin operated and drop off. Now, I don't know what this is. It has a date. Nineteen ninety-seven. Eight minutes. All right, well, there's a lake right here, and a bunch of rowdy teenagers. They're like wondering what I'm doing. You want to be in the picture? I want to go in. So go in. Go in the back. Go in the back. Oh, you can get in through the back? You've been in here? Keep it on low. Keep it on low. Keep it on low. There's a door right there. If the cops come for you, just go right that way. Oh, yeah, I know where to run. Yeah. You got to go from there. And it's the back door right there. I know when to walk away, and I know when to run. Oh, yeah, you could. Yeah, he could. But they're kind of rowdy, those chicks. But, um... Hmm. Crime scene, don't enter. Crime scene, don't enter. Look at this thing, how bad it is. It claps. This used to be like a wall. Supporting this floor here. And that's teetering. But let's test its integrity. Very loose. Well, if it falls, I'm not gonna fall that far down. No. All right, I'm in a laundromat, man. 
really old one in the 70s. Look at that. 70s. 1980. That's really old. Look at that. International. Now keep in mind this was a vintage diner at first and it's Art Deco. And then in the 50s or early 60s it became a laundromat. International. International. And this place was a diner, man. Here's the lobby. Art Deco doorway. See that? That's collectible. That's an Art Deco doorway handle thing. It's only held on by four flathead screws. And I like these light fixtures. See yeah. it? It's an old light fixture. Art Deco light fixture. There's another one that's broken right there. International. They all say international. Is there a basement? Hot point. That's where you put the money. Let me see. Do I got a quarter? I wonder what would happen if I put a quarter in it. Okay. Another quarter. Let's see, it says 25 cents, right? Okay. Alright, there's the quarter. Don't work. It won't even fit. Okay. Restrooms. I think I'll take it. It's in my back pocket. I don't know. Maybe it's from the 70s. I don't know. Even this is an old whirlpool. Look. Whirlpool. Commercial. Any coins? No. There's nothing in it. And since this and since this was an Art Deco diner, this was like kind of like the back office. So this is worthy of an explore. What does this do? Ordering. Come clean with us. So we're in Hasbrook. Road in some weird named town in New York. Shenandoah, New York. What is that? Kind of a inner of one of the machines, probably for the coins. That's where you put the coin. I like that. 
So I'll take that. It's also in my back pocket. Um, nineteen ninety-six. So it seems nineteen ninety-six. Something happened, man. And look at this mirror. This is Art Deco. This is a mirror, and that's like the Chrysler Building. See it? Chrysler Building or something. Or they're trying to like make that point. Thing, like an old city. And that was done in the 1920s or 30s, probably the early 30s. See that? It's a cool mirror. <clears throat> Here's another mirror here. What does this one say? It's like Greek ruin. Look at that bath, that um, toilet seat, it's wood, it's made of wood. Now, I'm not going to show you the turd that's in there, but um, here's some old cans, I wonder how old they are. Old Brooklyn. Comet. What is this? A napkin dispenser. It's not gonna open. So this is kind of like a... Maybe I should see if I got my flashlight on me. So here we are. This is like behind the counter. This is where you would work. You stand behind here and be glad you had a job near a lake. I mean, check it out, look. Oh, wow. I just put my hand in, in glass. You know, I didn't open it, but um, it is an old refrigerator. It's a hot point. Fruits and vegetables. Here's an old Pepsi can. Here's a Golden's Mustard. Golden's Mustard. When did it expire? See, you know, they don't put the date on. this it's a mirror should I break it no but you know if you give in like cake hey, if the doc gives you like six months to live break a mirror and get seven years of bad luck it's better than you know. but anyway that might be bad advice what is this Looks like a refrigerator. And then what is this? Some kind of a push button. Burglar alarm. It's for the burglar alarm. So if someone tried breaking in here. I was just in here, yeah, yeah. See, this is cool because they got like old A and W root beer cans, Dr. Pepper, Bush. I don't know, but somebody copped a stoolie in in the toilet, and that was douchey. I can't stay in there. Somebody had to cop a stoolie, man. You know what I mean? I see some vintage things, but then there's this room in here. Hmm. Let's see what's in here. Okay, well, what's this? 
This is uh, for fire extinguishers. It says Kid. Yeah, look at that. Kid commercial fire extinguisher made in the USA. Hate that <laughs> fire extinguisher. It's empty though. It's very light. There's nothing in it. it needs to be refilled. Nice. Snoopy. Really? That's not Snoopy. What you mean, like Humpty Dumpty? Snoopy fell off a wall and. What's this? Hangers. Old time hangers. Whole bunch of, of the old style hangers. Kit Kat. Am I still rolling? Yeah. Look at that. Kit Kat. Crate of Kit Kats. There's magazines. McCall's. Demi Moore. That's supposed to be the year. Yeah. Supposed to be nineteen looks like seventy-nine. Let me bring it up to here. Nineteen nineteen since the ah oh, it's not the date. This is wounded though. That's not the date. So this is like from not that long ago. It's from the 90s. Let's get out of here. All right. It finally hit me. It's generic. But it was cool. My only worry is uh, getting out of here. Well, anyway, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat food, drink a beer, and um, do a bowl. I think I left my bowl at my campsite, but um, it would be cool if I could do it in here. But anyway, yeah. So um, now here's the area that was loose. A little play in it, but okay. That's where I just was. Those are the windows. Let's get out of here. And then there's a house here that's abandoned. Let's walk really fast toward it in like up two, three, four speed. That'll make Jim Neighbors look like a retiree.
see you in the next video. It's probably going to be this one. Signing out in upstate New York. Really far away. <laughs>